Hey, good morning, everybody. It is World Outreach Week all week long here at Twin Lakes Church. And so I thought that for our daily video devos, every day I would interview another one of our global partners and ask them for a verse that inspires them in their ministry, because I have a feeling it's gonna inspire you too. And I'm standing here with John Aldax. John is our global partner at the Navajo Nation. These are Navajo lands here in the United States. And John, great to have you here, by the way, this week. And uh, what's your verse? Proverbs 3, 3, and 4. Uh -huh. uh, when I was first starting to work with the Navajo, I was kind of put off. Uh, they were they were sort of standoffish and at times even rude, which I wasn't used to that, so I, I couldn't figure out what was going on. And um, shortly after that, those first encounters, I, I read an article written by a Navajo guy that uh, the title of it was, they came with a Bible in one hand and a gun in the other. And he was referring to Christians, basically coming and telling them how much Jesus loved them and then robbing them blind, basically. And so shortly after that, I was reading through Proverbs and I ran across Proverbs 3, 3 and 4, which says, let love and faithfulness never leave you. Write them on the tablet of your heart, bind them around your neck, which means, you know, you should be characterized, believers, followers of Jesus should really be characterized by love and faithfulness, how we treat people and how we conduct ourselves. And then the next verse, verse four says, then you will win a good name before God and men. And I thought, there That's it good. is. Yep. You know, the, our, our reputation has gone before us. We haven't earned a good one. And, and our job, it seemed like God was just yelling in my ear, your job is to win a good reputation for Christ. Peter follows that up in 1 Peter uh, 1.12. He says, live such good lives among the pagans, among mm. the unbelievers, mm -hmm. that though they accuse you of doing wrong, they may see your good deeds and glorify God on the day he visits. Mm, live good. such good lives that you earn a good reputation uh, among the unbelievers, the people you work with, the people you, you go to school with, the shop with, that, that you win such a good reputation that when they accuse you of doing wrong, they will see your good deeds and they will glorify God on the day he visits. Now that is so good. And that, that, that really forces me to ask the question in my neighborhood, in your neighborhood, at your place of business, is your reputation one of love and faithfulness? Amen. If it is, then you're going to eventually uh, draw people to God through you. But if your reputation is characterized by the opposite, you're gonna shoo people away. So let's live lives today and this week that are going to be characterized by two things, love and faithfulness. Thank you so much, John, and be sure to check out all the activities all week long at TLC during this World Outreach Week. God bless you guys. Have a great day.